Okay, this is where you get to choose a color. Unfortunately, you can only apply a single color to your name tag, uh, but you choose a color. This is not going to be the color that you're going to print in. It's going to be the color that you're going to display it in in your folio. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to edit the appearance. And once I edit the appearance, I get the choice of colors, or you can uh, play around with the mixer if you really want to change the, the colors. But I'm going to just choose one of these colors here and choose this mid purple one here, which looks, I think, quite nice. Now that I've done that, I can press the tick button and my name tag is going to be purple in appearance. I'm now going to create the projections and that's done in a drawing. I can click on here, I can create, and I can create a drawing. I'm just going to use the default template for the drawing and I'm going to click on OK. Now that it's loaded the drawing, uh, I'm going to ask it to create a projection. And it's actually taking a while. There we go, it's loaded the drawing. I'm going to ask it to take a projection from the part studio of part one. The scale I'm going to use, and you can see that that scale is the size there, I'm going to make it maybe twice as big. Um, yeah, twice as big is good. And I'm going to choose the top view. And I'm going to put it up in the top corner like so. Once I've uh, selected that, it's going to put a drawing there. And if I come down here, it's then going to create a 3D rendered view. If I move over here, I think I prefer that angle. So I'm going to click on over here. Now that I've got these in place, uh, I'm going to press escape. And I'm going to click on and drag. Sorry. I'm going to click on and drag these name tags into a nicer place. So there's my top view and my 3D view. I'm now going to right click on here. And I'm going to choose show shaded view. And this will project it in the color that I chose before. Right click and show shaded view. So there is my drawings uh, and I'm going to print those out in A3 size and then we're going to be cutting these out. So to actually get this downloaded, I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to choose export. And I'm going to export it as a PDF with a file name of name tag. I'm going to choose PDF, normal, full color, and it's going to download it. So when I click on export, you'll see that eventually it will download. The browser needs to remain open while this happens. And there it goes into my downloads. I can now locate that file in my downloads. There it is there. And I can go file print. And when I do the file print, I'm going to choose to print it in A3.